everything above the water is so fast paced and especially now with social media there's constantly <laughs> stressors in life and work relationships you get under the water the only thing you can hear is bubbles you are forced to listen to your breath Scuba diving has allowed me to take a second and have a life underwater and get to understand the ecosystems underneath there. I'm Kayla and I'm a shark fisheries biologist. I'm Carmen and I'm a scuba instructor. I'm Colleen and I'm a PhD student biogeochemist. And we are Girls at Scuba. So Sarah Richards, she's actually the founder of Girls at Scuba. And the way she started it was simply just making a Facebook group. She wanted people to be able to go on there and talk about different dive sites, dive gear, and basically help each other out. At Girls at Scuba, we're all about connecting and empowering women, but we're also about just breaking down stereotypes and breaking down any kind of perceived ideas of scuba diving, of the ocean, and things that are in the ocean. For a lot of people, scuba diving can seem really scary. It can seem really unapproachable and something that maybe they don't want to do. No question is too small, no question is too silly. We really want to break down any lingo, anything that people wouldn't understand about scuba diving and make it approachable for everybody. I didn't think there were many women involved in scuba diving. I just thought that scuba diving was for men. Well. You better go first, give the girl somebody to follow. Right. But then I kind of thought to myself, it would be so cool to have more girls to dive with. I went about looking on the internet to see if there was a group that I could join, but there was nothing. So I just thought, well, if there's nothing here, then I'll just start it myself. The community has spread all over the world. Hi, I'm Maryam, and I'm a Girls at Scuba member from Kuwait. Hi, from Jordan. Solomon Islands. Armenia. Canada. Mauritius. The Philippines. Key Largo, Florida. London. Denmark. Indonesia. Without Girls at Scuba, I really don't know where I would be today, but it's so much bigger than me. I'm the one that started it, but all of the members, everybody that is part of Girls at Scuba, we're in it together. underwater world is something that is so undiscovered and not many people have even been able to see what's under our oceans even though it's the majority of our planet. Being able to understand how a whole world exists under there and that it's not just the present, you are also looking millions of years into the past. For that hour you're submerged in the ocean, there's really nothing else on your mind. And it's calming, there's something about being under the water and away from everything that puts you in a different mindset and it really just makes your day so much better. Some of my favorite dives are where I can go down on a wreck and there's sharks everywhere and octopus and all this marine life. But then I go into the sand and I find fossils like this megalodon tooth. I'm holding something that could be a hundred million years old that is a evolutionary piece to how we understand what's happening today. Take me through the moment you saw that thing. Like, oh, like, oh. I, I said, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> in the end of the day, the more people we can get involved in scuba diving, the more women we can have involved in scuba diving, the more people we have to protect our ocean. If you're diving, you kind of just become a conservationalist because you see it more often and you're aware of it. You understand the need to protect it. And it was something that I totally fell in love with.